What's up party people and hello my friends. It's your girl welcome to China and welcome to my channel. And baby, y'all, we gotta go ahead and talk about Ken and Diara, Diara, however you say her name. I became a Diara fan, a liker of Diara. Diara's a friend in my head, honestly, y'all. Um, and I'm feeling bad for her. Ken is out here doing the most again and embarrassing her, but we gonna get into that. Before I get into it, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I'm on my way to 1,500 subscribers, y'all, okay? Let's get into it. You guys, where do I even start with this drama? Because Ken is steadily embarrassing Diara once again online. So allegedly, Long story short, Ken and Diara have been together doing videos, but the vibes have just been seeming off as usual. But the first thing that everyone started to notice was this TikToker, I'm not gonna show this because she plays music in the background, comes out and does these things where people do exposés of men and celebrities and relationships. So she comes out saying that one of these IG thotties had allegedly said that Ken was talking to her and you know Ken was a cheater so she wanted to see if she could slide on Ken and Ken of course bit the bait and started talking back to her so that was the first so kind of weird kind of not but just to see that Ken is a fiance or isn't anymore or whatever with Diara and he's talking and entertaining other women as a trick or not that's a little odd okay so that was the first thing, the first issue. Second issue, Diara goes ahead and she takes her fiance out of her bio. But for those who do not know, Diara, Diara, her birthday just passed. So people were like, well maybe when she took her fiance out of her Instagram bio, maybe this meant that she just forgot to put it back in. Then, it comes out that Ken is on Twitch drunk with some of his so-called friends, but I'll talk about that in a minute because who are your friends letting you get out, go out bad like this? Telling this girl, they call basically, they're on Twitch and they call a cousin or a friend of a family member of one of the other gentlemen. And then they go and give the phone to Ken. The Ken starts engaging with the girl he asking her to do a model walk. He's clearly drunk, drunk or not. That's not how a fiance should talk, right? He like, yeah, go tell her to do a model walk. Mm-hmm, uh, I bet she gonna do that if you do the model walk. You smoke weed, uh, what you want? Maybe if you smoke something, you'll do the model walk. Ken, I, I already don't think Ken is attractive. I think Ken is a loser. I'm, I'm not with Ken, Ken don't do it for me, but if that's Diara's cup of tea, embarrassing her like that, then okay. The other friends did not stop him from doing that. And I know a lot of other vloggers and people were talking about, you know, why didn't the friend step in or say something or that's that's not his friend that they got him, you know, drunk on Twitch and disrespecting his relationship. The friends know how he get down and they don't give a damn. That's just what comes down to it. His friends don't care. Let the men be men. If, if his friends are holding him accountable, then that means that the friends don't respect the relationship. Because I'm in a relationship and I really genuinely feel if my boyfriend was doing some out of the box shit, that his friends would be like, yo, what's up? You know, all these people know De'Ara that he's kicking it with. All these people know their relationship. So if they're not stepping in to tell him, hey, yo, don't tell my cousin or family friend to do a model walk, then shit, what else is there really to talk about? Anyway, Ken went ahead and posted this cryptic message after this has been trending because of course the Twitch video has been down, it's private. He, he goes ahead and he posts this cryptic message and replies, and this is about two hours ago, and the message reads this. Let me pull it. Anyway, you guys, it's just wild to me that he really out here making it all about him when he continuously is a social media influencer or youtuber who understands how this game works and you can't be out here looking crazy like that whether you and Diara have an arrangement or not but i'm curious to know in the comments before i read this if you guys think that kid and diara diara just have an arrangement and then that's it maybe that's all that they're really worried about right now but anyway let's let's get let's get into what ken had to say this message is long 
He said, at some point, y'all will realize that constantly attacking someone's character and actions despite not knowing what happens behind closed doors is wrong. You assume you know everything, but in reality, know nothing. You want me to be the bad guy? Fine. You want to run out with context clips instead of watching the full thing just for a few views and sound bites for what? For what reason? My... <laughs> my entire stream knew what was happening and we had a good time and that was two weeks ago but i get the context got dried up and i became the only option hope it was worth it it's just can't serve me nothing but beta male energy beta male vibes he like really works my nerves it's just like woe is me but bro you brought this on yourself friend didn't he didn't he I wish everyone as well and always have. I never wanted to be in drama, but somehow find it, found its way into something I could take full responsibility for. Shit happens sometimes and we don't always have to understand, but instead I live with it. I love myself and the internet has made me hate myself, but hey, they think we're not human apparently. Don't bring the air into this can when you brought yourself into this young man. What it, it looks like he's just writing a delete yourself off of the internet, uh, delete yourself off the world, you know, take your life type shit. He looks like he writing an S letter. Like, I, I'm not really getting where this is going. You know, maybe they need to take a break because this message, and De'Ara is not coming to his defense at all. She not Cardi b -ing. This is not her offset. She not defending her man. That means this shit is over with. This shit is dried up. She's done. She's good. They not kicking it. He out. He out and about streaming at night, acting a fool. To my mom and dad, dear family and friends, love all of y'all. Just know you have impacted my life in many ways, and I'll never forget which each day and time you've done for me. Be blessed and remember to love yourself. Some will say it's just plain victim. Others will understand it's no longer for me to decide because I no longer care. And then everybody's like, that sound like he finna commit suicide and then he's saying that it's giving <laughs> they like can't stop lying they're saying it's giving embarrassing yeah 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 Ken this is it I think dear I think what's wise for dear because by the time she's 30 to be a mom and to be engaged and married and all these things she can do this with a young man and find somebody else within a two-year span and still have more time before she's 30 if she really pressed about having kids and starting a family it should not be with Ken I would love to see Deara single would you I think it's just Ken needs to give what he's giving Ken needs to go be with somebody else and then I remember seeing another post that it was like some other girl with like short hair that looked like the other girl that he was cheating on Deara with outside the strip club or outside the club or whatever y'all remember that back in November she was saying to somebody anonymous, anonymously sent cookies to her house and he knew her and she knew him or whatever. She took the post down. So it's just like some messy stuff going on with Ken and it's just not serving me what it needs to give. It's just not giving me what it needs to be given or given. Okay. So that's it, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. I'm on my way to 1,500 subscribers. I would love to know what you guys think about this. That's my opinion on it. That's my two cents. It's time for her to get going. It's time for her to throw the towel and give up. Throw the towel and give up. She got to dunk. She got to dunk. She got to dunk. She got to dunk. She got to. It's time. Ah, my headband fell off. That means it's time. Ah, that means it's time for me to go, you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.